Hey kids, we're going to miss you all so much, but we're excited to have you with us for Church Online. We have had an amazing three weeks with our Kids Vision, and we still have two weeks of Kids Vision lessons planned just for you. In our nursery and preschool classes, you have been learning about how you can follow Jesus. And in Kids Zone, you've been learning all about forgiveness. No matter how much we mess up, God always forgives us. And even Jesus chose to forgive those who crucified him. So because God forgives us, we need to do our best to forgive those around us. Hey kids, we want you to tell your parents to follow us on all our social media platforms, on Instagram at CF Kids, and to go like our page on Facebook, Christian Faith Kids. We will be posting videos, memory verses, and lots of important information to stay connected with you and your parents. So stay up to date with us as we post things for you to watch, to read, and to stay engaged. And kids, we want you to know that we are praying for you and your family. We are praying God's protection, His peace and joy in your home, wherever you are watching from. And we cannot wait to see you all again. My name's Kaylee, and I'm so excited to be learning with you today how to follow Jesus. Now, if you can say it with me, repeat after me. I can follow Jesus. That was great. Now, today we are going to be learning about the 12 disciples and how they chose to follow Jesus. Let's head on over to the clubhouse and see what Ollie and his friends are learning about. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story.
Pokemon class. It's so great to see you today. Psst, over here, it's me, Manny. We've been playing a fun game called Be the Leader. Well, today, guess who I am? Yes, I'm a teacher. I'm a leader of a class. Want to play along with me? Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get back to class. All right, class, let's take a look at what we will be learning today. Can anyone tell me what this shape is? Yes, it's a circle. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now, can anyone tell me what number this is? Yes, it's the number three. Give yourself another pat on the back. Last but not least, can anyone tell me what this color is? Yes, blue. Give yourself two pats on the back. You guys are incredible. I just love being your teacher. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Pretending to be a teacher, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm so glad that Lucy and I made up the Be the Leader game. It's so much fun. Leading a class is awesome. It's true. Jesus led a special group, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Now follow. Hello. <laughs> you did it. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. We're playing follow me. Whatever I do, Stormy has to follow me and do it too. Like if I make a funny face. <laughs> Good dog! <laughs> you followed me and did what I did. That reminds me of how Jesus' 12 friends followed him and did what he did. Let's meet Jesus' friends. Wow, look at all of them. Jesus had 12 good friends called the disciples. Their names were Peter, Andrew, James, John, the other James, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Judas, Thaddeus, and Simon. Stormy Jane, you are not in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. Let's learn more about the disciples. Peter and Andrew were brothers. So were James and John. And all four of these guys were fishermen. Matthew used to be a tax collector. Judas was in charge of the group's money. Jesus called Peter the rock. Do you want to know the most important thing all these guys did? Can you guess? When Jesus said, follow me, they did. They became the disciples and Jesus was their leader. Everywhere Jesus went, the disciples followed. They saw Jesus do so many amazing things. They saw him make sick people better. They saw him feed people who were hungry. They saw Jesus be kind and loving to everyone. They watched him. They followed him. And when he went away, the disciples did what Jesus did. And that's what we can do too. Just like Jesus friends the disciples, we can follow Jesus and do what he did too. Hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. The disciples followed Jesus, and you can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. 
All of Jesus' good friends, his disciples, followed Jesus because they knew that he was the most special leader. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I better get back to class. And like Jesus, I'm gonna feed the people. Snack time! See you guys next time, bye! Wow, wasn't that great? When Jesus asked the disciples to follow him, they followed. And guess what? We have the opportunity to do so as well. So say it with me, I can follow Jesus. One more time, I can follow Jesus. That's great. Now, before we go today, let's practice our Bible verse. Come and follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4, 16. Now, before we go today, I want you to know that it is so important to share what you've learned about Jesus. So take a moment and share with your family all that you've learned. If you haven't already, we want to make sure that you have been given the opportunity to ask Jesus into your heart. In a few moments, there will be a prayer that will pop up on the screen, and I ask that you would just pray that with your family. And make sure that you tell someone, because it is the best decision you will ever make. Remember, we at Christian Faith love you so much and we can't wait to learn with you next week.